What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys and explain to you guys today on how to integrate your iPod 5th generation touch by using Bluetooth technology. By the way, I'm using a Griffin Bluetooth receiver hooked up to my Toshiba Receiver from the 1960s, from the 1970s, it is a pretty old unit, but it's a pretty awesome unit at the same time. By using the older technology with newer technology, it would work just fine. But I also have a universal dock, but the dock is not compatible with my fifth generation iPod Touch because Apple has changed the 3 pin to a lightning adapter on the, the bottom of the new iPod Touch. Hey, way to go Apple, awesome job! Because now, I have to buy all new accessories for the new iPod Touch. But I'm not going to be spending $30 on a lightning to 3 pin adapter. That's the reason why I decided to add the heck with it. I go with Bluetooth technology, and that's what I'm using. But the problem is with using Bluetooth technology, yes, it's going to kill your iPod touch or any type of devices that has Bluetooth technology on it. But if you have it plugged in, you shouldn't kill your battery as fast when you are using Bluetooth technology. But let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. There you go, guys. Take a look at that old beast over there. Guys, seen that beast many times. There's my receiver. Awesome, very old uh, technology. But using newer technology. By using newer technology, here's my uh, rocket fish. Bluetooth receiver. All I'm using is a analog signal because this baby here is analog as well. By using the analog RC jack to stereo jack here, the RC jack, and it has a 5 volt plug, the input has two outputs. Uh, one's a digital and one is octal audio out, and one's just a standard audio for the output of my receiver. But on how I got it to work with this older receiver is by connecting the RC jacks to the back of my receiver on by using the tape deck button by pushing this in. Now I can actually switch from the tape deck but I don't have the tape deck on the receiver it's down now. Uh, but the receiver works just fine, but it's a shame. I'm going to be retiring it, and I'm also going to be replacing it with a new upgraded unit of newer technology. It's a Pioneer receiver. Awesome. But this is my unit on how to use a wireless technology by using my iPod Touch 5th generation. And by the way, here is my iDock uh, for my third generation iPod Touch. This is not compatible with this. It won't fit because it's the 3 pin, this is a lightning pin. And that's different. I don't know, that's just Apple, the way Apple changed it. But now uh, things should be set on my iPod, on my stereo, and also on the iPod. I just have to push that. The little button to turn activate that over there. Now we can turn this guy on to show you. There's the sound. To also play audio or music in any type of audio source for my iPod Touch by using Bluetooth technology. Now I'm going to go into the YouTube application. And I'm going to select one of my random million new videos I have out there by showing you guys on how this all works in junction 
by using wireless technology. And by using wireless technology, I can actually go anywhere in the entire room without having to hook in it directly to the I to the unit itself by using the iHome dock or the iDock here. The iDock right there. Now it takes a couple minutes to uh, uh, load, and of course, by using wireless technology, yes, it will able to secure the iPod even a lot faster. By the way, I got myself a brand new hoodie for my birthday right after my birthday. You see, there you go. Uh, Works just fine. Now I also can play audio directly from my iPod Touch by using the Bluetooth receiver. Now we're gonna turn this down to show you what it does. Now I don't know if you guys can hear that. Playing some music through the Dewey through my iPod from my iPod directly to the Bluetooth receiver instead of using the iDock but Apple I don't know when Apple's going to be making a universal dock for the new iPod touch now this will work with any type of unit it has Bluetooth uh, technology built in it only with Bluetooth technology like any type of mobile phones uh, iPods, iPhones, iPads, uh, computers, uh, desktop, laptop computers, anything would would actually work off of Bluetooth. Now remember, one thing you gotta note, by using the Bluetooth technology, yes, it's actually wirelessly, but it's actually not fully wirelessly at all, because this is a receivable. This is not actual on the inside of my auto receiver. It's on the outside of the receiver. It means you actually have to connect the audio source and power source to the unit itself and directly uh, plug into the receiver itself. Now this is how I integrated my iPod, fifth generation iPod Touch with the uh, Rocketfish Bluetooth receiver. It's an awesome project. I would recommend pick it up uh, locally down at my Best Buy store. Pick one of these guys up and hook it directly to your receiver. You can mount this anywhere you want in your cabinet. Doesn't much matter where you want to mount it. Now by using the, the iDock here, this iDock can actually play and charge your device by having it on the iPod dock instead of by using the Bluetooth technology. Now let's move this over there and show you what the i the i dock looks like. Now this is a 2007 model. This is a very older one, and you can see here's my analog out, analog out, and also uh, audio output source from this iPod Touch i dock here directly goes from here to my switch and into my receiver and that also works the same way by turning my ipad on i can hit the play one of the play buttons on one of my older videos and show you the audio does work just fine by using the i dock itself I want to you see? Voila! There you go, guys. There's the iPod dock by using the technology we have available today. Now, mention by using the Bluetooth technology, the battery will die a lot faster if you don't have a dock to dock your brand new iPod Touch 5th generation. Now I can walk anywhere in my room or in the whole entire house to actually connect directly to the wireless receiver or Bluetooth receiver. There. It's an awesome little device. 
And it's us that makes the device look a lot cleaner. And it makes it look a lot nicer. And I want to add to one as much of audio cables from my iPod Touch dock directly to my receiver because I'm using the new technology is the Bluetooth technology. The only downfall with the uh, receiver itself does not have it on an off switch. You can't turn it off. You have to use the power plug to turn it off. And that's okay. I don't mind. But yes, this is kind of my setup, guys, on how I integrated everything with my stereo receiver. It's a very awesome unit and very nicely done and very nicely put together by uh, by me because I just, you know, put it all together and stuff by using different uh, parts and technology from older to new technology. And it's awesome because I really do like the way it's working just fine for me. But one disappointing, uh, I did find out uh, Apple does have a iPhone 5 dock for the iPhone 5s, but not for the iPod Touch 5th generation yet. Don't know when Apple is going to be making one of those. I hope to God Apple gets on the game and also starts making a universal dock like they did in the past with the older iPod Touches. You can see how things are set up. Now again, yes, I know. It's a bit wily muscly inside my cabinet. But that's just a bunch of wiles. What can you do? But I can walk around my room with my iPod without no wiles and listen to my music, listen to my audio source from my iPod directly. It receives it from here and it puts it into the receiver. And the receiver puts the music on and audio out to all for my speakers. Awesome. I really love it. It's a very good integration to a older technology. And with newer technology too, guys. Let's go ahead and switch you guys to me. By using the newer technology with Bluetooth technology, by the way, it's actually going to put a lot of strain on your battery, on your iPod, or your iPhone, or your iPad. I recommend having a charging plug in hand, always if you want to listen to your uh, audio on your stereo. This is how I integrated my Bluetooth and iPod with my stereo itself. Alright guys, if you are very new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please leave a comment below on how I hooked everything up if you want to. Please also like, share, peace out, bye guys, see you in the next vlog. Toodles guys, peace out.